I remember the first time we got a message a few months into doing OnlyFans from someone who wanted to collaborate and, and it would have meant to traveling to another state. And I remember at the time being like, well, what if we get there and we just don't like him? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sumner. And I'm Cody. And we're Cody Sum. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to our bedroom. Yeah. Our first, our first YouTube video in, in our, the bedroom. In our king bed. It's or... decorated for Christmas. You know, I wrapped a big gift on the wall for you guys. Don't mind the lube stains. We're trying to get them out. I don't think you could see those in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and then after this, we're gonna make another video for the other platforms. So yeah. no, I'm just kidding. No, we're not. Not today. We're busy. What's our topic today, babe? Today we are gonna talk about collaborations, specifically on yeah, where? OnlyFans. Oh. Do we do them? What? Do, how do we feel about them? So if you're new to the channel. <laughs> We have an OnlyFans. <laughs> we did make a video about this. I'll put the link in the description if you want to go watch that one as well. It's a few videos back. So I think we're going to start this conversation out with just saying we have not collaborated with anybody on our OnlyFans. There might be a video of somebody filming us. You don't see them. Filming us doing what? I don't know. You have to subscribe. <laughs> That doesn't mean we are against collaborating with somebody. We have played with other people, but with OnlyFans you do have to play with someone who also has an OnlyFans. They're very strict about that. Or you have to send their like license and a picture with them holding yeah. their like name up. I mean it makes sense. They want to prove that 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 person knows that they're being posted on a website mm -hmm. and then they gave consent to that. Over the last couple years, we've definitely gotten to know some other OnlyFans creators, some couples. It's a small community. Yeah, and the ones we've met, we love. So if you're watching, we love you. Since the beginning, we decided that we just wanted it to be just us. We started it as a side hustle. We weren't into it to collaborate with other couples or people on OnlyFans for the sake of networking. So that kind of brings us to our next point in this topic and if we do do it who will we do it with yeah. and that's kind of something we've always said you know we never want to schedule a collaboration not like not knowing the person very well scheduling it like a meeting for a job like that's something we don't really want to do so we're not against collaborating but like we want it to be with somebody that we probably would have hooked up with even if we didn't have an OnlyFans, yeah. if that makes sense. We want it to still be organic and real and have real chemistry. Some of our subscribers like that, like that it's just us and some ask if we are gonna ever like film with a third and our answer is always, we will, you know, as soon as it does happen, you know, it will, our subscribers will know. You will know, so. you will know. I remember the first time we got a message a few months into doing OnlyFans from someone who wanted to collaborate and it would have meant traveling to another state. And I remember at the time being like, well, what if we get there and we just don't like him? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want to, and that's where, I think that's kind of when we decided like, we don't want to just make content for the sake of making content. If we were gonna, gonna collaborate with another content creator, we would want to have met them organically and just let it all happen organically. Yeah. And then it's like, oh great, you have an OnlyFans, we can post Only, each other. Our OnlyFans from the start was always us sharing our experiences. Mm. So we never want to create a fake experience and share it with you because it's not like, it's not us. We want we're sharing you, we're sharing our relationship with you on OnlyFans. And if we hook up with somebody, an, a third or another couple, we want that to be real as well to share with you. We don't want to yeah. give you something that's not, you know, genuine. And there's, and the OnlyFans creators that we have got to know as friends, like, hell yeah, they're all hot. They're yeah. all good looking. That's why they're doing what they're doing. But that doesn't mean that there's, there's, chemistry enough to, to to go that route yeah and maybe maybe someday there will be but you know the ones that we become friends with it's, there's nothing on the calendar they're our friends now <laughs> they're our friends right they're our sisters yeah. so um, if you're if you are a subscriber and you have asked us 
or you're gonna subscribe and want that, you know, we're not we're not saying no, we're not doing it. It will probably happen eventually, but we can't really give you the timing. And at the end of the day, you know, major, major respect on our friends and other OnlyFan creators who do run the, the like, you know, the collaboration circuit, you know? Oh yeah, scheduling, those, are doing great. Yeah. those people that have that business model where they are networking a lot with other creators, that's, that's their business model and that works for them. And I, kudos to them. Yeah. The thing that's nice about OnlyFans is it's your OnlyFans page. You get to run it how you want to run it. It's so, your business. Yeah, it you know? becomes your business. So that business model works for them. This business model works for us. Mm -hmm. And neither is right or wrong. There's no rule book on how to run your OnlyFans. And that's why more and more people are doing it because it gives you a lot of freedom to express, express yourself in that way how you want to. Mm -hmm. You draw the line for yourself. The only ones that I would say I don't have respect for are the ones that create an illusion mm -hmm. that something's gonna be on their page and then you subscribe and it's nothing like what they yeah. brought up. We don't leave much to the imagination on our page, so. <laughs> People are very satisfied. Yeah. So that's all we got today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the, the content about our content. And we will see you next time. Yeah, and if you have any questions or concerns or want to tell us something, just comment below. All right, have a Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. See ya. Bye-bye. Right,